top 10 best unfortunately discontinued fragrances like ever right after this intro stay tuned what's going on guys and welcome again to another video yes it's another late night with my pajamas and i just didn't want to be lazy and i wanted to do another video for you guys and in today's video it's a bummer it's my favorite of what i own pretty much most of them i own uh, discontinued fragrances that they should not discontinue already these fragrances to me personally are gems are rock stars and I love them all and it's a bummer not only for me for a lot of you guys that uh, they already discontinued these fragrances and uh, it's a shame yeah I'm, I'm best and before I even start showing you my countdown yes Jinjus yes mama I, I'm doing a video right now I know you want to kiss I, mwah, okay <laughs> yes I know I know yes okay um okay okay I'm not gonna finish this video today can I can I can, all right thank you mama thank you I'm gonna get distracted a lot on this video I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it or not dog is right here the cat is right there and I'm by myself okay and before I even start showing you my countdown please stay till the end of this video for a great great uh, giveaway for me personally it's a great giveaway okay guys and I don't you I don't want you guys to miss out on that okay and don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and a comment down below what is or what are your favorite discontinued fragrances like ever okay my number 10 on my list is such a great fragrance guys yes i'm talking about carvin om this is at a certain point in life it was a cheapy it was a great great long lasting cheapy the fact that i just opened that cap like this i just that lavender spicy lavender hit me and it smells amazing guys another one it's a bummer that it's got discontinued and it smells a lot like this one which is Gucci Envy. For me personally, I don't own unfortunately Gucci Envy and Gucci Envy of course is the better candidate if you just compare this to that uh, but I just love this nevertheless. I remember that was like $10-$15 at a certain point in life and it was a bummer. I love this fragrance, um, I haven't worn this in a long time and I'm planning to wear the heck out of it. The fact that I just opened that cap like this made me really crave this fragrance a lot guys seriously this is like spicy lavender bomb this is the epitome of a gentleman type of a fragrance if you haven't tried this one yet uh, you can get it now still on ebay but it, prices are skyrocketed but it's not badly badly priced but it's not badly badly priced especially if you compare this to gucci envy again gucci envy is the better candidate and I, last time i checked gucci envy was going for like 600 dollars on ebay which is crazy insane yeah this one i found it for around like 80 90 dollars so it's not badly badly priced okay my number nine on my list is fahrenheit 32. this is such a beautiful scent guys this is a long long lasting summer fragrance guys um this is a hidden gem uh, I don't know why not a lot of people talked about it when it was available back in the day I remember a lot of guys uh, after this got discontinued was just trying to find a bottle uh, this price wise got skyrocketed again to the roof uh, all these fragrances pretty much this is a great fragrance guys this is the uh, DNA of the original Fahrenheit uh, with added citruses and uh, <laughs> Iris. You want to smell it? Does it smell good? Even the dog likes it. It smells phenomenal, guys. And the fact that I'm just opening that cap, it's really projecting. This is very, very strong with the Iris. A little powdery, uh, spicy with the original Fahrenheit smell. I'm telling you guys, hey, just bear with me on this video. Yes, mama. Yes, Mimi. Can I finish this video? Por favor. My number eight on my list is Prada Infusion Dome. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I'm glad that I have 200 ml bottle, but I just love the way this fragrance smells. It's a, uh, it's uh, it's very clean, soapy, uh, slightly powdery, uh, but smells phenomenal, guys. It's very, very clean, just like any Prada, pretty much. Yes, I just love how this fragrance smells, guys. This is the epitome of a work scent this is the epitome of a daytime scent and it lasts like forever and it projects really really well i just love this one guys i, I truly do love this one and uh, 
before this one got discontinued i was like really glad just to snatch this bottle and i'm, I'm like really cherishing it but i still wear it because i love it okay my number seven on my list is fleur du mal which is a fragrance i love personally not a lot of people love this fragrance while it was readily available but once this fragrance unfortunately got discontinued all the lovers just came out of nowhere and they were trying to snatch a bottle this uh bottle right here just it, it's worth of gold seriously nowadays on ebay i don't know how much uh it costs nowadays on ebay but it's like really really expensive um this is a great great uh springy fragrance it's got the same dna as the original le mans but with added white flowers on top it's very white floral that's why um at a certain point in life when this one was available it wasn't um a big hit only some people really really loved it uh and they loved it even more for the performance this is a beast of a fragrance seriously guys a couple of sprays of this one would last on you all day and it will project and as a matter of fact this one uh used to get me a lot of compliments i know you guys are not going to be able to see this but it's uh full until here and i bought it brand new and i've worn all that much of it that's how much I've worn this fragrance and for the amount of bottles that I have that's a lot of wearings okay my number six on my list is aqua amara aqua amara was it when Jeremy fragrance as a matter of fact hyped this fragrance up uh, it was very very cheap at a certain point in life uh, I remember I got this bottle for like around $16 or so you can't find these prices anymore but I'm glad I have this fragrance this is another great it smells amazing seriously guys it smells very very nice uh, it's very green very marini very fresh uh, summery with a very very strong uh, power when it comes to the performance this one it gets a lot of compliments as well this is a very gentlemanly type of a scent i wish if i got another backup bottle because i truly love this one yeah my number five on my list is mahogany woods by bed and body works this is a gem guys i don't know why they discontinued that a uh, cheapy of a gem because this one smells amazing this one is very woody it's uh, spicy and it's sweet and it lasts for a long 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 time and it, it smells expensive for what you used to pay for uh i remember i got this bottle for around i don't know 12 dollars or so and it even got cheaper at a certain point in life Right before they discontinue it and it was uh, around like six dollars i wish if i snatched like 17 18 million bottles of this because it's solely worth it this one smells expensive this one is like borderline niche smelling in my honest opinion and it lasts forever and it projects really well and it, it's it's very classy for being a sweet fragrance seriously guys the mahogany woods and the woods in here combined with the sweetness it just smells beautiful unfortunately this one got discontinued and um it's a shame mahogany wood it's one of the best uh, fragrances smell wise to me in this uh, list seriously my number four on my list is a fragrance i loved and i still love and it was a very cheap fragrance i was never famous and um it, it's not known for a lot of you guys out there uh but it's a good, such a great fragrance and uh it got discontinued uh readily fast uh after we found out about it i just got this bottle for around like what uh 20 dollars or so like back in the day and that's uh jean paul dupont oud noir from their collection prestige this is a, like a niche quality smelling type of a fragrance guys this is dark uh oudy uh mysterious very strong musky like really middle eastern but smells expensive uh if i smell this one on somebody i know for a fact oh or i would think this guy is wearing a very expensive uh, fragrance seriously guys this is uh, mainly oud and a uh, sandalwood and patchouli and musk uh, there's way too many things going on but to me personally it smells amazing amazing it reminds me a lot of santal blush by tom ford it, they're not identical identical uh, they go different routes when they dry down but um the opening smells a lot like santal blush 
and it smells amazing. Eau de Noir by Jean Paul Dupont. At a certain point in life, that bottle cost like $20. Yeah. My number three on my list is another beautiful scent, and it is Gucci Pour Homme, the first one. Uh, uh, I love this fragrance, guys. It, this fragrance smells like pencil shaving, woodsy, spicy to the max. Uh, at a certain point in life, that fragrance was it for people that really know about fragrances. I remember when this fragrance came out, uh, a lot of people here in LA, in Hollywood, used to wear this one and I used to smell it of them. I'm talking like back, back in the day when I was like much, much younger. And a lot of my friends at a the time, they were older and they just kind of wanted to have a little bit of the Hollywood scene and they made me smell this fragrance and it was kind of like a show and offy type of a fragrance and I decided just to pull the trigger a few years later and I just got myself one because all I had was memories of this fragrance and it was kind of like a high class something for me and I used to pull it off while I was in like my early 20s and um, I used to get compliments and uh, I used to do well on it trust me that was like my number one going out scent back in a day before this even thing even started seriously look i only have like a couple of squirts left from this bottle i finished all this bottle on my own by myself i promise you guys uh this is one of the few bottles that i finished and unfortunately i can't get this anymore just because uh, price wise this fragrance is very expensive nowadays my number two on my list is the vintage first formulation of M7 by YSL. I cherish this half a bottle to the max, guys. I love this scent. This is more of a, like a cherry cough syrup type of a scent with oud. It smells amazing though, especially when this one dries down. I just love it, okay? Uh, now, the fact that I'm just uh, talking about it, I'm really craving to wear this one very soon. Yes, even though I'm staying home, probably, you know what? I'm just gonna make this my scent of the night tonight because why not it smells amazing it smells really really good i wish true i truly wish if i have another backup bottle of this because i just love it i, I, I love it a lot okay and it is on my number two it's a shame they discontinued that my number one on my list it's a uh, gucci pour homme de the second Gucci on this countdown. Gucci, they make great fragrances, but they just, just discontinued them for some reason. I just love how this fragrance smells, guys. This is my go-to summer and spring scents, or this is a, a fragrance I wear personally to make me feel better about myself. Uh, now, the fact that I have this blue bottle in my hand, I'm craving it, but I have the M7 Beast on and I'm okay. I smell great, okay? But probably I'll wear you tomorrow, okay? Gucci Pouam, this is gonna be my scent of tomorrow, yeah. Another honorable mention that I totally forget to mention is Valentino V. This is one of the best vanillas out there and I own this bottle at a certain point, but unfortunately I sold it and um, I regret it a lot now the fact that i've seen that bottle uh they sell it now on ebay for like 700 dollars. i was like dude i really really uh regret selling my uh, valentino v it was such a beautiful scent darish by rasasi smells a lot like it but i prefer valentino v nothing beats valentino v seriously guys unfortunately i don't own that one and uh I don't have it anymore and you just i can't buy it anymore unless i just want to pay a lot of money for it which i don't think i will uh seriously like to pay five six seven hundred dollars on a discontinued fragrance i think this is dumb don't do that okay so it's not a big deal honestly if they discontinue a fragrance that we love it's a it's a shame yes but we can always manage with the bajillion thousand billion other bottles that we actually currently have in the market okay so this is pretty much it guys thank you guys again for watching and subscribing and doing all the good stuff thank you for not minding me doing videos with my pajamas on late at night but why not okay it's something is better than nothing and i just want it to be more consistent for you guys and for me personally because i love you okay and if you love me back show me some love by clicking that subscribe button and if you make this video 300 likes uh i'll make 
3D cans of any fragrances you choose from this list okay these fragrances are dear to my heart and they are very valuable at least to me and i just want to share three decants of your choosing of your liking if you make this video 300 likes so share this video uh, click and tell your family to click make this video 300 100 likes no matter what okay and comment in the section down below tell me what are your favorite discontinued fragrances did i miss anything that is discontinued and i it just i didn't mention uh i know i haven't mentioned a lot of stuff but that was like a last minute idea video so i just pulled out all these fragrances uh, that i have that are discontinued probably i have way more discontinued fragrances but honestly i didn't really think too much of it so probably if i found another discontinued fragrances uh, that i own in my collection probably i'll do a part two and please let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite uh discontinued fragrances so i probably i'll do a part two of your suggestions as well okay don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it and this is pretty much it i know it's punch making smelling good always easy peace <laughs> Contalana, where you